Y'all take two. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mel and the Nostalgic Runner. And we are back for um, kind of similar to what I've done before, where we're going to be reviewing the Real Housewives Potomac reunion looks. We're also going to review the unfortunate lackluster season and go from there. And also mention some of the things that have been rumbling on um outside the show we you know generally when i do these reviews i try to stay away from things that are going on outside of what's going on on, sc on the screen at that moment in time um, <clears throat> for the most part but a lot has came out since really since the episode that aired on monday um there's a couple breaking news things and for those who haven't heard it yet um, we'll, we'll get into that with this video also. Um, the reason why I also mentioned this is a take two is because I'm so irritated. <laughs> I already did this whole entire video already. I already edited it and everything. And then when I was uploading it on YouTube, I was about 86% complete with my upload. And I accidentally completely deleted the whole entire thing thinking it was a duplicate of a different file and it was that file. Yeah. I wanted to scream. I did that this morning and there was no way of recovering it because I was so on it. I was deleting everything because I've been trying to make sure I have plenty of hard drive for like my computer because I am going on trips in. So I'm trying to make sure all that's together and yeah. <laughs> I am so irritated I did that, but anyway, we're here, and um, this is not going to be in the order that we went to it originally, but no, none of y'all saw it originally, so it's not a big deal, but without further ado, let's get into this. So the first reunion, the first reunion look we're going to go over um, is Ashley's. Um, Ashley only had, by the way, before I go into it, all the photos that I'm going to have on this video and that I'm looking at came from either Bravo Insider, so shout out to Bravo Insider, or to the individual lady's actual Instagram. Um, if they had, because some of them had extra videos, I mean, not extra, well, some videos, but extra videos slash extra um, photos of the dresses, so you could kind of get different looks and feels of it. And we're going to try to get into all of it for the most part. Um, but anyway, Ashley, this dress... Okay, let me start with this. This is probably the best that Ashley has looked. Her hair looks amazing. I love how her hair looks in this. Her stance with this dress looks horrible, though. I think, honestly, the dress probably looks better than how she's presenting it. Um, because sitting down, I saw in the previews of the reunion, it looked okay. And, by the way, the theme of this reunion is black. So they're wearing all black like an omen. Oh, I hate them singing that song because I know who that's from right now. And he is in trouble right now. I'm not going to say the name, but y'all know where that came from. It was Lil' Kim's part, but that's not Lil' Kim's song. We'll just leave it there. Anyway, and the fact that she said we're on all back, black like the omen. Anyway, that's a deeper, darker criminal link. No pun intended there. But um, this, <laughs> the theme of this reunion, though, is black. So the ladies are all wearing all black. and You can't go wrong with that. And it is also art gallery. And it's an old to the season finale, um, which I'm not sure if that was originally going to be the season finale or not. I'm still very confused by the um, production this season. I and honestly, if you're going to do a cast shakeup, you need to do a production shakeup too. Um, because I think there was actually more there than what they provided to us. I don't think it was as lackluster. I, it, was, it would have been still a lackluster season, but I think production didn't help. I, I think it was a team effort of messing this whole entire season up. But anyway. Um, but that's the theme. And what Ashley's wearing, I... The lace look kind of cheap. I'll say that. And then the bottom of the dress is lacy. That's cute, but I'm not sure why it's puffing out like that. 
because it looks like that's different material. I am curious to see how it looks sitting down on part one of the reunion on um, this coming Sunday. And um, also, too, I'm trying to see if I can see any other details with this. Um, her earrings are just okay. But, yeah, to me, the gloves are not... I can tell they're not... They're not the same color black as a dress. So they were not part of this piece. It's like she, like, it looks like the dress, it looks like the um, gloves that she probably were supposed to have originally didn't come on time or something. And it just doesn't seem like it matches. And also, too, I really think it would have helped her if she would have had more accessories. Because just the dress and then the, and, and, Lose the gloves um, or just don't have lacy gloves. I, I would, I guess I'm trying to see. I think the gloves are just, I don't know. I, okay, so I'm just going to rate this dress as, um, I think the last time I rated it 6.5, I'm going to still rate it 6.5 because also she's not help selling this look with how she's standing because she's literally standing like a superhero. And for how toned she is, I get it. And maybe that's the other reason why I wish she kind of maybe would have went without the gloves because show off those, show off the toneness. You might as well. Like I try to as much as I can. Like, you know, even though I'm a little bit, even though I'm a little bit on the thicker, thick side, I still like to show off, show off tone muscle. And I, I would want her to do the same. Now, Ashley, you know, I don't like her. Um, so when it comes to this season, I guess I'm not really rating the season. I think I said at the beginning I was. Well, I respect, I, I want her to not be on the show next season. <laughs> I think it is her time to go. We're not getting real life from her. We will not get real life from her because she's lying to us when she's saying she's going to divorce Michael because she's not. And also too, that's just so that he doesn't film on the show. I mean, that's what it is. And also too, I'm still really, really mad at her for her lack of accountability from the season finale. And not just the season finale, her whole entire time on this show. And for her driving um, Candace off this show. Because, yeah, that was one of the breaking news piece is that Candace will not be back next season. And I understand why. Also, the other thing I will say about this look, um, I feel like this video is going to be longer than it was last time. Um, I think she would have done herself much more of a favor if she would have posed like closer to like where her actual picture is because it is art gallery and all the women all the ladies like different arts um art looks of like their photos is all throughout this this set it looks like and it would have done her I, I feel like she could have picked a better place to um show off her dress and show off this look but anyway that's enough of Ashley. Moving on. Speaking of Candace, Candace is next here. And I love where she, Candace is one of those people when she um, shows off her looks, whether her look is a risk taking look, because she is someone who is going to take a risk, a fashion risk, or, and it works or it doesn't. She always picks a cool place to um, pose a good, like she shows off the dress the best of her ability, even if the dress just is not giving when needs to be gave. Like y'all remember last, last reunion, that was not a great looking dress, but she did her part to sell it as much as she possibly could. And with Candace, I love that she has this prop, this microphone, because we know she, she flies above all the, she flies, a, she flies above all the, she flies above the drama. Um, <laughs> Let me know in the comments where that comes from. I'm pretty sure y'all know where that comes from. It's another housewife that sings, but um, we'll form a housewife. Um, anyway, so I love her hair. Her hair is beautiful. The earrings are, I can barely see it, but they're good because she has long earrings, which if you're going to have your hair down, that kind of does make sense. Um, now, her dress is kind of similar to Ashley's just a little bit. She has the sheerness going on and she has the gloves. The difference is her gloves work. 
because you could tell her gloves go with the dress. They don't seem separate. It is very much part of the dress. And also her bottom, the train of her dress is lacy along with like her gloves. And also the other thing I do like about her gloves is it's not covering her hands. So you can still see her, her wedding ring and her nails. So I also like that as well. Um, how it rate Candace's, um, oh, and her shoes, simple. They didn't need to be complicated. And again, she's selling this dress with the pose. So I'm going to give this a solid eight. Eight. Um, I feel like Candace's look better, but this, I'm not mad at this. This, this is, this is definitely good. Very, very good. Now, Ari mentioned she won't be back this season, um, this next season, um, she this next made, season. She already made the announcement. She actually quit, um, at least the way it sounds. It sounds like she's leaving on her own terms, and understandably so. Like, you literally had a castmate who set you up on the very season, the season finale. And you cannot tell me any different. For anyone who's an Ashley fan, this is not, the, this is not, you probably shouldn't even be on this channel because I am not Ashley Darby fan. Um, Ashley Darby from day one has always gave me jealous girl tease and she is jealous of Candace. Keep in mind, this is based off of how they act on the show. I don't know none of these people in real life. So please take my opinion on how I feel about them on the show with a grain of salt. Again, we none of us know these people in real life, but I just want to make that perfectly clear. I don't really have any issues with people, really, but how they are on the show, yeah, no, I don't see it for her. She does this fake, nice nastiness with her, and but always is const constantly tries to set her up. I mean, you can't tell me any difference. Her, her ex-husband, which we know isn't her ex-husband, was trying to sue her. Probably because Ashley couldn't. Yeah, anyway, so, but I do hope that we do see Candace back on the show at some point in time once they get, once this cast, once this franchise gets this ish together, I would like her to come back or maybe even just come as a friend of capacity. But I, as far as her, you know, potentially causing her to lose her other jobs, I want her to make sure she learned her lesson from her Hush co-star, Erica Minna, and leave before this show causes you to lose all your jobs. Because you don't want that. Because that is one thing that sets Candace apart from a lot of these girls on this particular franchise. The girl already has jobs. She's, you know, has a a blooming music career that she's working on. She's been, been doing the tours through the city wineries. Like she was in Chicago twice through the city winery tour. Um, <clears throat> she is working on another album right now. We found out on the season finale. She is acting. Um, she was just recently on Angela Yee's All the Way Up. Um, I think they technically call it a podcast, but it's a radio show. But I think iHeartRadio puts it on the podcast category as well. And she kind of killed it. I can totally see Candace being a radio personality or a TV personality as far as like hosting and things like that in the near future. Like she's definitely multi-talented. And this show, to me, was kind of holding her back. So hopefully we see more of her in a different way. But yeah. That's it for her. Next, we have Giselle. And honestly, this dress, so Giselle went simple. But in her case, because we know Giselle can't dress, simple is good. And honestly, too, it looks like Giselle has been working on, um, you know, getting her body together because she looks like she's lost some weight. Like, everything's in the right places. Um, this dress looks amazing on her. I... So for me, I'm giving this a Giselle 9. A Giselle 9. Um, anyone else, it would be a 7. But for her, it's a Giselle 9. Because we got to rate Giselle on a different scale because the girl can't dress. And we know that. 
Her wig looks good here too. And she, again, the simplicity works for Giselle because when she tries to do more than simple, it just usually falls apart because, um, yeah. But I do also like that she kind of was different from some of the other ladies. I feel like a lot of the ladies with their jury went more um, either like diamonds or like silver, kind of like cooler colors when it comes because, you know, white's going to be more on the cooler spectrum versus like a warm spectrum. And um, with her jury... It looks like it's kind of it looks like, like it's kind of like black and has a little bit of like um looks like it's brown, which I normally wouldn't say brown and black would work, but it's not really brown. I don't really it's more of a gold. There we go. It's gold slash a bronze color. Um is her jewelry. Um and I love that she has multiple accessories. Like she has a bracelet on, she has some rings on, she has a necklace on, she also has her earrings, and her earrings are not like long, huge earrings, just just enough. Her makeup looks just fine, you know, because you know, Giselle's face card does not decline. She does her face is her face. And yeah, I like this look for her. Um, and then also, too, I love that the shoes also match the rest of her um, accessories. It all matches. It, it, it works. So she got that right. Um, <clears throat> but now, um, how do I feel about Giselle coming into next season? I'm excited to see how Giselle is going to be next season because I am hoping... I want, because, you know, I want Ashley to be gone. And then you also got news that someone else is going to be gone, too. Robin. So she's not going to have her sidekick. And I want to know what that, what that dynamic is going to be without those two. That's what I'm curious to see. Because she's going to be forced to have to talk to the other ladies. And also, too, because she's not sitting at the first seat of this reunion, as she always has. That was... That was Bravo saying, hey, you know, that was a, a stern, like, warning. Letting her know, like, hey, your job is not safe either, okay? I'm going to need you to stop coasting and resolve issues and present your, your true self. And because she's face of the show, that was a punishment, you know? Um, because as much as they say the seating doesn't matter, it matters. We know that. Um, so I am hoping we see what that looks like because I do think Giselle can turn it around. She just cannot. And I also want to see how she does without having backup. I just want to know. So, yeah. Okay. Next we have Karen, AKA mother, 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 mother. Because I say that because this look, she is giving mother. I love this look. This was definitely a risk. Definitely a fashion risk. And I definitely could tell that she did some tweaking. She mentioned that she did some tweak. We saw in the season finale, she did the tweaking. So she definitely did that. And I love the earrings. The earrings are nice and simple. I love this. I love this, this, this um, short hairdo she got going on. She knows she's serving because that pose is giving when needs to be gave. And she chose the right place to pose that her picture's right there too. Um, and that's also amazing. And her legs look amazing. The triple twenties are doing Karen some good and doing that body good. Now, um, and then she just kept it simple with the accessories, just a couple of rings and then her earrings. And I can't really see the shoes in the pose in the, um, yeah, I can't really see the shoes, but that, um, I don't think her shoes are black. I think they're more of like that silver color that she has in her dress because she kind of is not wearing all black all the way. Um, so I like she kind of did a fashion risk. So I'm going to rate this for Karen. 
I want to give it a 10. I think I'm going to give it a 10. I can't see. Yeah, it's a 10 for me. It's a 10. It's a 10. Now, as far as Karen's concerned, child, she has a storyline for next season. And it's not for a good reason. The fact that, and I'm sure y'all have heard this by now, but she got a DUI recently. Um, probably, I think it was over the weekend. Pretty sure it was over the weekend, actually. And she tried to get in front of it and say that it was emotional driving. But then, unbeknownst to her, she didn't realize TMZ was going to get the actual truth of what happened and get the, get the police report and everything. So, yeah, she got a DUI. And I would normally not judge someone getting a DUI if, for one, if it wasn't her first one, and it's not her first one, and also her age. I'm sorry, but you are too... No. And it's also 2024, in a, and she's located in a major city, and she's someone with coins. She has resources to get a driver. And we found out that everything happened down the street from where she lives. So, even if she wasn't going to get a driver, she could have got a Lyft, Uber... Um, whatever other type of ride sharing services. I don't know if they had taxis in Potomac. I know they do in parts of DMV, but not all of it. But it's like you have options. And as someone else who also lives in a major city, at this day and age, and even if you don't live in a major city, like even when I come back home occasionally to visit family, if I know I'm going out for drinks and I know I'm going to have more than one or two, I'm leaving my car where it's at and taking a Lyft or Uber home or having someone dr drive me home. I am not <laughs> drinking and driving. And, tr and I mean, that's, a, that's one of those things where you really should learn that lesson if you, it, you shouldn't learn the lesson at all, to be honest. And, um, but I'm not going to judge because I'll be very hypocritical of me because I'm someone who's had that before. But I mean, I did my dirt when I was like 21, you know, not to age myself, but it's been like 20 years ago, <laughs> you know, it's, you do it the one time, you should not ever have to do it again. It's it's enough to, for me, it was enough to scare me straight. Well, I was like, oh, no, 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 we're never doing that again. And also, when the time when that happened with me, not that I'm excusing it, was prior to Lyft and Uber. At this day and age, I cannot justify nor understand how that happens. You being a grown adult with the finances and the money and also the resources of Lyft and Uber being in existence. There's literally no excuse. None. So, um, I feel like the ladies are going to get at her, especially Giselle and Mia. Them two are probably going to be the ones who are not going to let that, <laughs> let that story go. So that's her storyline, unfortunately, because she did that. But I do want to see if she does really, um, show some accountability because her trying to get in front of it did not help her. She should have really just like kept her mouth shut and then, you know, let it play out and then own it and, you know, maybe even make it as a cautionary tale of what not to do. And hopefully on the show, maybe she turns it around. She does that. But, um, you know, you just do, in the same time, you just never know what people are going through. I'm hoping she's in a good space because it seems like for her to be that age and for something like that to happen, she must be going through some things beyond the things that none of us know about because that's the type of behavior that um, you're not okay when you're doing something like that. If Especially once you're... Once your brain's fully developed and you know exactly what you're doing there, you're not. Things aren't going right. And um, I do pray, and I am thankful that she was not hurt, but I do pray that she learned her lesson, and and she does need help, she gets the help she needs. So, Okay, next, we are going to go with Mia and Baby. Mia knows she's arrived this season. I feel like she knows 
She has arrived this season. She has a first chair for the reunion. She had a decent looking event as on the season finale. And she's winning the fans over, including me. I did not like Mia for like the first two or three se two seasons. I did not like her at all. But this season, I still don't like her like that for real, for real. But I find her entertaining. Like she's so funny. And her and, her and Karen, really her, Karen, Wendy, and Candace made this show watchable. I would never watch the show if it wasn't for them being on this show. Because Mia is messy, but in the fun way, the in, in a more fun way. Like she did, I mean, I'm still trying to forget her and what she did in Miami because that was a whole entire mess, but she learned from it. She hasn't went back to that kind of behavior again. Um, but she's still a mess and I love it. She's such a hot mess in the best way possible. And this look is literally the best look she's had in a reunion. Like the dress fits her perfectly. She look, She's looking like money. And I'm saying this from the dress with it, with it sitting down. The sitting down look, because I do have multiple looks of, for her. Sitting down, this dress is given exactly when needs be gave. It looks like the dress is made out of hair and her hair is pulled back in a ponytail. And since it's all black and her hair is black too, it's given Rapunzel and I love it. I love it. And then she has a black fingernails, the black um, earrings, the um, shoes, the bracelet. Perfect. And even where she, how she even chose to sit down, showing those legs. It's, she did that. Now, I will say this, the dress standing up, not so much. The dress standing up, I got to take away two points. So I would say this dress is an eight. It would have been a 10 if it wasn't for how it looks sitting, standing up. Standing up, I do like that you can see some of the other looks of the dress, like from because you couldn't see it sitting down um, right in the area, be, right on the other side of the train. You see the other materials made of. But the illusion of it looking like hair is, it diminishes. And the dress actually kind of looks, I'm trying, I'm, I'm actually closing it up. It does look a little bit cheaper when with it standing up and I don't know if it's the lighting but I just and and I think it is lighting honestly the lighting didn't do her any favor but her face favor but her face yes whoever did her glam they did that she looks amazing and that hair pulled back is, is doing it for me and yeah, so I'm going to give this a solid eight. This is a good look. Now, Mia. Mia always keeps the storyline, so I'm not even worried about her. I think next season she's going to kill it some more. And I want to see more of Mia. I want to see more of her life. What Also, what I would like to see also for next season, I want to see how things develop with her being kind of newly single-ish because she's separated from Gordon. I want to see what it's like with her and her new man, if her man even is okay with really being on the show. And I also want Jacqueline to come back as full time. Because now we have two, possibly three, possibly four spots are going to be available for this cast shakeup. Because I'm pretty sure they're, the two people already got the release, but I think there's two more that can go too. And I already told you Ashley can go. I already know Candace is gone. I'm confirmed. Um, and then we got two other people that I think can go too. And we'll get into that a little bit later on. One has been kind of not quite confirmed, but it's a very, very strong possibility because of a reputable source saying it. But um, it's just a matter of when that person or when the, when the person's going to say it. If they are, they might not. But um, 
Yeah, I I say all that. I kind of went around circles there, but I say all that to say that I do want Jacqueline to come back. She'd come back as either friend of or full time. I'm good with either or. I would like to kind of see her full time because I have. Um, so after um, the season seven, I did watch her interview with Carlos King and Jacqueline seems like she's pretty interesting. So I think it would be nice to see what she could bring to the table. And also, too, she's she kept friends with all the ladies here. So she already knows all the ladies and she gets along with all the ladies for the most part. And I also want to see Mia and Jacqueline's rekindled friendship because they're in a better, much better place now. So I want to see that positivity on screen and hopefully Mia stays that way with it. And same thing with Jacqueline. So hopefully we see that next season. I don't know, but that's just a couple things we could see, hopefully. All right, next we have Naneka. Um, this look for Naneka, this being her first reunion, is actually a really good looking reunion dress for her first reunion. She, her hair looks good. Her makeup looks good. I love the makeup for her right now. Actually, that's probably, this is probably the best that Naneka has looked. Honestly, and I love her hair being up. And um, I'm not sure if I love the lace on the opposite um, on the right hand as much because it's only on one hand because she's wearing this like she's wearing this asymmetrical dress and asymmetrical dresses can be a hit or miss. Um, but this particular dress seems like it does work for her. The material looks good. I love that she actually went with the red fingernail polish versus like the black or just like, you know, the French manicure look. Um, makeup nice and simple. Her earrings. Um, I can kind of, they look like they're just like earrings like that. They're not hoops. Um, and then we see her nice wedding ring. Yeah, this is a decent look for her. I'm going to give this look a seven. It's not too bad. Um, and for her being a newbie, a lot of newbies, their first reunion look usually is a flop. So, um, that's not the case for her. So there's that. <laughs> um, but anyway, so the NECA, I am on the fence with her. Um, as much as I kind of want her to go instinctively, I want her to not come back. Because she didn't really bring anything. And her personality just did not mesh well with the rest of the group. And a lot of her scenes always felt forced. But I don't know if that's to do with how she was produced. But, and also too, it doesn't help that she led with her feud with um, Wendy versus us getting to know her first. If she would have led with us getting to know her first, then maybe I wouldn't feel that way towards her. Because towards the end, I was like, okay, I can see, kind of see her being on this show. But I guess the whole entire time, even towards the end, I only saw her as friend of. I never saw her as full time. Because she just does not fit in with this group, um, in my opinion. Um, but I think it's just because she kind of, she kind of self-sabotaged, like, a lot. Um, and... But I do want, it will be nice to see a resolve between her and Wendy. If that could be a possibility, I'm opening to, I'm open to her remaining on the show. But that is a two part thing that would also depend on if Wendy is okay with that resolve. And we might see that during the reunion, but from the trailer, it doesn't look like we will, but maybe we will. Um, but even her stance and watch what happens live, it's just, she just, uh, I think she might be one and done. I'm okay with it. I, I mean, I don't really have an opinion with her staying on the show or not. So that's kind of my view on that. Um, yeah. Next we have Robin and <laughs> Robin's look. I actually do not mind it because it actually is a fashion risk. So I do appreciate the fashion risk. And honestly, the, the look with her sitting down, it looks amazing. 
Um, it is a good look with her sitting down. So I will give her that. The look sitting down is given when needs to be gave. But standing up, child, it it's not it. It's not it. This is not it. It's it's not it. Um, but I will say this though. This is probably the best she has looked because also too. Side note: I probably should say this. There's really only like three people on this show that have fashion sense. Um, Karen, Candace, and Wendy. Everyone else's fashion sense is like, ooh. Mia, I think hers will change because now she's getting that, you know, full-time housewife check. Like this, the third season check. So hers, I feel like her, her fashion will evolve. Ashley, no. We know she's tacky. She's given tacky. She's always been tacky. Tacky... I would say Ashley is tacky. She gives tacky hoe wear. And I'm not saying that she's a hoe, but that's what she likes to dress like to me. Like, Ashley wears a lot of things that I wore when I was 21. Like, she looks like she actually shops at Forever 21. Or, um, Timu. Not the higher end part of the Timu, but like the six for whatever, you know. Which, I'm not mad at that because I shop at Timu sometimes. And I, I wish I didn't because, ugh, I don't like supporting that kind of stuff. But every once in a while, I'm just like, ugh, the ad comes on. I'm like, shh. And then I buy a bunch of stuff and then I delete it. <laughs> I delete the whole app because I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> it's a cycle. But I think I finally broke the cycle because I have too many clothes. I, I really do. Shopping's... Shopping for clothes is one of my biggest problems, especially dresses. I'm such a dress girl. It's a huge problem. But anyway, Shein, that's the fashion that Ashley gives. And so I say all that to say this does look good for Robin because Robin's fashion sense isn't that great either. <laughs> but the pants, I think, is a flop for me. But sitting down, it looks amazing. And I do like her accessories. I like her um, necklace, not her necklaces, but her bracelets. I do like the um, black fingernails. Um, the rings look good. The bob is bobbing. Her makeup looks amazing per usual. But this stance, she looks like she's mad. She looks like she's about to fight someone. So it probably doesn't help that <laughs> her standing up stance, she looks like she's about to fight someone. <laughs> Or like, are we done? Like, that's what she she's giving irritated. Speaking of irritated, um, we won't be dealing with her irritation of her not sharing her real life or really being accountable on and her skipping through her life anymore. Because she was the other housewife that will no longer will not be coming back. And I think she got fired. And we know why. Because she played in her face for two seasons straight. And to be quite honest, she's been playing in her face for years. Because she hasn't really... She's been coasting. She has been coasting. And I think Robin going was part of sending the message to Giselle. I think they did that. I think it was twofold. So I think they moved... Giselle did not have her seat. And they got rid of her, got rid of her Robin. Because, you know, she's Batman, Robin's Robin. And I think that was to send Giselle a message. Like, look, your face can be replaced as being the face of this franchise. We literally just rebooted a whole entire city, even though, you know, the first season wasn't the best. But I watched it and I kind of enjoyed it. I just, the uh, vacation was horrible. I'm talking about Romney. The Ronnie reboot, I didn't mind it. It's just, I think they'll get, I think next season will be better. But anyway, my whole point is definitely, that was to send a message. And for those who don't know the history, Robin has, has she knows that she's also shared this multiple times. Robin has Giselle to thank for even having this job because 
they've been wanting to get rid of Robin for multiple seasons, and Giselle's kept her with the job. So, but this, after this lackluster season, there was no way they are going to be able to do that again. And they need people to be able to move forward. And Robin was one of the other people who was, like, clogging that up. So, um, I am, I, you know, one thing I will say, and this might, this might be huge unpopular opinion. Um, Charisse did not bother me this season. I don't want her to be full time. I don't. But I want to see more of her as friend of than I did this last season. And she's not, and by the way, she's not at the reunion. So I was confused by that. But I would like to see more of her on the show for next season since one of the OGs is going to be gone. I think that would be a good way around that. Because Sharice did win me over on the last two episodes of this past season. She held Candace back. And she kept real with Candace, like, girl, what were you going to do with that bottle? <laughs> she sounded like an auntie or a mother consoling her little sis, like, girl. <laughs> so anyway, next. I'm not sure if I gave this a rating. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it 6.5 because that, the, <laughs> the standing up look just isn't it. Um. I, I don't know if I gave it a rating or not before, but I, I can give it a 6.5. If it was a 7, I'm changed it to 6.5. So there we go. Next, my girl crush. And for those who don't realize this, y'all should know this by now. I have a girl crush on Wendy Osuffo. I definitely do. Her body and her skin and just, man, even her husband's fine. Like, <laughs> they are just beautiful. Look, They are just beautiful to look at. And babe, be this dress. It's a 10. A 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> and I, I, I'm sorry I'm giving what I'm giving because it sounds like I'm lusting at her. and I, Maybe I am a little bit. But <laughs> she looks good in this dress. Oh, my gosh. Yes. So she's giving to me. It definitely is homage to like her photo that she has in the background because in the season finale that she was um Shirley Ralph um but like Shirley Ralph as Shirley Ralph in Broadway playing in Dreamgirls and she's giving classic Hollywood the dress is hugging her just right just right that necklace is accessorizing the girls and I love that for her and uh, if you're going to have happiness, you got to make sure she's there accentuated. Um, yes, I remember her name, the names of the girls. Happiness. I remember that. <laughs> um, I don't remember the other ones because everyone else has names of their enhancements, but I don't remember them. Um, and then at first, when I saw this look, I at first did not know if I liked the white. I love it. Honestly, to me, it needed the white. At first, I was thinking, I was imagining what it would look like without the white, and it would just be kind of still too simple. That white makes her pop a little bit more. So I do like that, and I love that necklace. That necklace is gaudy, but it's very... I'm living in the material world, and I am a material girl. It's giving that. Like, I just can see her going down the stairs and doing the material girl thing. Because it literally is a black version of that dress to me. Um, definitely more high quality. But I love it. I love it. Her hair looks just right. Her, um, the only thing I will say, even though I did give it a 10, um, no. I think I'm good with the 10 because I was, I would say if she didn't have that necklace, I would maybe like for her to have like a, a bracelet here too on the opposite side of her wedding band. So the wedding bands here, um, I mean the wedding rings here, but then have like, you know, a bracelet here, like a, a diamond bracelet, but I don't think she needs it. At first I thought that, but she doesn't need it. And I love that hair. I love that wet look and the hair going back. It looks amazing. 
And the reason why I'm saying giving her a 10 also because she's one of the few because we saw both at sitting up, um, standing up and sitting down and sitting down. This is why I lust after her. <laughs> Those. Girl. <laughs> And then even just the look that she has, she knows she looks good. Yes, doctor, you know you look good. And I, mm, mm -mm. Anyway, I'm hoping so for her, for Wendy next season. Um, I don't know what I, I, I want to see her see the talk show thing through. So I want to see more of the behind the scenes of the talk show now that she has that going. And I don't want her to pick up any more projects. Like, leave, let it go. Stick with the talk show. Maybe try to add more to that. And then if you're still doing the candles, a follow-up on that. And if you're writing another book, follow-up on that. But, like, I don't want her to... She... For her being a Gemini, she gives me Aries energy. I don't know if she has an Aries moon or what it is. But the reason why I'm saying this as an Aries... My Aries sun, I think God am a Libra moon because if I was an Aries moon too, <laughs> not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing us. I'm not talking bad about us. We love to start new stuff. That is an Aries thing. We love to start new stuff. The following through is just not our strong suit. Now, because I have a Libra moon, that is what helps me with the discipline of following through. If I didn't have that, I don't think I would be good at following through on things. Um, but be, she, because she's jack of all trades, master of none. And that is such like, this also, it's also a Gemini thing, but it's also an Aries thing. This is it's a very common thing with both signs of just having all these ideas, having all these innovations and just starting, starting, starting stuff. <laughs> but I want her to see one of these things through in the talk show i i've seen a couple of the episodes of them i still need to see more of them i want to see see what happens with that i want to see more of it so yes i clearly want wendy back because she's one of the main reasons why i watch the show i'm just gonna keep it real with you also the other reason why i want to have wendy back because kiana so this look for kiana Child, I'll be honest. I don't love it. Um, now, we do need to allow her grace because she's a friend of. And friend of's typically... Friend of's look for reunions, fashions, usually is typically not good. And although I like what she's wearing, and it's showing her personality very much so, because she's giving Baltimore go-go. I know she's from Baltimore, just like Wendy. They're both Baltimore girls. And it's giving Baltimore a go-go. But the problem is you're at the reunion. <laughs> you should not be looking like you're about to go to the club. And she looks like she's about to go to the club. Um, the dress is, it, it literally looks like go-go. But like, you know, the, the, the sound, the go-go sound that the DMV area is so known for, that dress. Because it reminds me of the of a dress that Beyonce wore and get 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 my body, get my body. And that's when Beyonce kind of took Amy Marie sound. But um Beehive, please don't go after me, but it's a fact. <laughs> it is a fact. I loved it, but looking back, she got that from somebody. And Amy Marie was one of the only ones that was doing all that sound. And then everyone went to do that sound after A. Marie did that. But A. Marie's from that area. As a music person, when you know, you know. I'm a music girl, so I be paying attention to this kind of stuff and I just be knowing. But anyway, she literally looks like she looks like she's off the set of Get Me Body, which is great, but this is not, <laughs> it doesn't work for the reunion to me. Um, and it, 
And it's just slightly disappointing because I would normally rate the friend of in a different scale. But since Kiana's fashions were probably were, were actually really good throughout the whole entire season, this was just a, a risk that was a miss. So uh, I hate to do this, but I gotta give it a seven. I would give it a six. It really deserves like a six point five or a six. But because she's a friend of, I'm bumping it up by one point. Um, so what I expect from Kiana? And I'm a little concerned for her because I don't know if she's going to be invited as a full-time housewife because of her being involved in that fight. But up until that fight, I won. I, I could, I, I feel like she was going to be because out of all the friend of, she already knew a lot of the girls already in the group. Both sides, she was, so she could have been another bridge if they were to keep this cast the way they kept it, which, thank God, they're not going to. And she has a business. She's a boss. She's another Nigerian. Wendy has someone else to film and talk with. And I'm afraid if she's gone, Wendy is not really going to have anybody. And they're going to ice her out, too. And I don't want that for Wendy. So... I really, 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 really want Kiana to be a full-time housewife. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much concludes, um, my review of the reunion looks. I know this is way late, way behind, but I typically like to do the review of the reunion looks closer to the reunion, not right when it comes out because reunions is Sunday and it's kind of like, I like to do it as a way of like, hey, the reunion's coming up. Are we excited? Um, I'm excited to get answers. I'm also excited for this season to be over with. <laughs> and I don't know which one I'm more excited about, which is kind of disappointing. But anyway, that does conclude the video. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mel Nostalgic Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye.